in the previous video we discussed about the insulin if you want to watch that video first the link is in the description now in this video we are going to discuss about the glucagon signaling pathway it's a regulatory pathway for glucose metabolism in this pathway the signaling molecule is the glucagon and the receptor for that glucagon molecule is gpcr in glucagon pathway the secondary messenger is camp molecules and the effector protein in this pathway is pka or protein kinase a now let's get to the pathway directly here in this diagram we can see the plasma membrane of the cell having gpcr receptor on it then we can see gpcrs are coupled to g proteins in the intracellular side as shown in the diagram which consists of three subunits alpha subunit beta subunit and gamma subunit as shown in the diagram moreover we can see the g alpha protein subunit is bound with gdp molecule and on the right we have inactive adenyl cyclase so to drive the signaling pathway we need glucagon molecules first and it's when we have lower blood glucose levels in the body specialized cells in the pancreas called alpha cells in the islets of langerhans sense a drop in blood glucose levels and secrete glucagon and here we can see these glucagon molecules comes in and binds with the gpcr receptors and mediates conformational changes within the gpcr receptors wherein we can see the activation of g proteins from the intracellular side the g alpha protein has gdp bound but upon glucagon binding the gdp is replaced by gtp molecule as shown in the animation once the g protein that's g alpha protein is gtp bound it gets to the adenyl cyclase and activates it as shown in the diagram where we can see the conversion of atp to camp molecules now we have the camp molecule it's a secondary messenger in this pathway this camp molecule then acts on inactive pka and makes it active the pka that protein kinase a then acts on inactive phosphorylase kinase enzyme and makes it active which then in turn acts on inactive glycogen phosphorylase and makes it active the active glycogen phosphorylase then ultimately acts on glycogen and we get the glucose molecules furthermore if we see pka activations we have already seen the glycogen breakdown second is the glycogen synthase inactivation which leads to reduced glycogen synthesis then pk also drives activation of gluconeogenic enzyme stimulation which then leads to increased glucose production all these factors ultimately leads to increased blood glucose so this is how glucagon signaling pathway works i hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up do consider support me work on patreon or youtube and make sure to subscribe this channel thanks